Hey friends, uh, sorry it's been so long since I have uh, checked in with these acorn videos. I got really caught up doing my buckskin project once I got the hides, uh, which you can watch. I'll put a little, you know, tab up there. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm finally getting around to doing some cooking with the acorns. But first I'm going to show you guys how to dry out your acorn flour from um, soaking the tannins out. And then I'm going to be making some waffles. So <laughs> uh, stay tuned, keep watching. And good morning, everybody. All right, so it's been about 10 days of regularly replacing the water uh, on my acorns, and I think the fresh acorns are ready. I'm gonna just double check right now and give it a taste test and see if the bitterness has left. Hmm. It tastes pretty good. It tastes like what I remember ready acorn tasting like, which is yummy roasty, nutty, and not bitter at all. So I think these are ready. And what that means is it's time to strain them out. I have this cheesecloth here, and I'm just gonna strain them right into the cheesecloth over the sink. And hopefully that will go okay, we'll see. So actually I'm gonna put my cheesecloth in this little uh, colander. Just let the water drain out. see now it's kind of starting to look like food and I've got it on this little tray lined with parchment paper and I'm just gonna empty it out onto here Ooh, look at that it's beautiful and I'm gonna spread it out on here to dry and when it dries we'll have kind of acorn meal and now I'm just gonna use a fork to um, break these guys up because the name of the game is to kind of get it into as thin a layer as possible on these trays just so it dries as quickly as possible and I'm gonna put it by my window so that it gets a lot of sun, stays warm in my room, and hopefully it'll dry out pretty fast, and then we'll have acorn meal. So this is very exciting. Stay tuned to see what we'll bake. All right, so it's been about uh, three days in this warm, sunny spot, and the flour feels dry to the touch. So I think I'm ready to put it in my jar. gonna give it a shake to break up some of the clumps all right that looks like flour to me exciting So if you've been watching my videos, um, you'll have seen that I made two batches of acorns. I made one from acorns that I harvested this year, and then another batch from acorns that we harvested many, many years back. 
And uh, with these waffles, I was experimenting with the ones that we harvested a few years back, and those have always looked and smelled a little different. And they taste different too, to be honest. Um, and I'm not entirely sure that it is a better taste. They definitely taste a little bit more stale. Uh, I don't think they're bad, but um, actually I honestly am a little bit let down by these waffles, to be real. But the only way that we're gonna be able to remedy that <clears throat> is by trying to make a recipe with our newer acorns and hopefully that will go a lot better. It'll taste a lot better. And uh, so we're gonna try that next. And I really wanna show you the things I love when I was young. Before we move out to the city where neon lights outshine the sun. And maybe when we're older, we'll move out to a quaint New England town. And now, we'll babe, you acorn bread as we watch the geese fly south. Another solo section that can be as long or as short as we want it. But again, probably at least two times to the chords. And we'll dance just like falling leaves. Howling through an autumn breeze And when the trees are past hollow bone All right, taste test. Let's do it. Mm. Honestly, maybe a little heavy on the clove, but very tasty. Um, still a little bit soft in the middle, which honestly is perfect for pumpkin bread in my opinion. And uh, the nuttiness of the acorns really comes through. It's delicious. Mm. My evergreen. 